Hi, Scorpio. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Four of Cups. Ace of Wands. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. Six of Wands. The Star. Five of Wands. Nine of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So I'm very much getting this energy where it seems like... It's like I'm getting a vision here of someone who is walking down what looks to be kind of like a road, an open road, and then getting to a certain point and then turning around. Um, and I feel like with the star, the ace of wands, ace of pentacles, um, for some of you, this is a situation that feels like it's really blossoming or has the potential here to blossom into a new start. This could actually be for some of you watching, it may be an existing partnership. Okay, so we'll see what else comes up. But for some of you, it could be an existing partnership that you are in. Okay, it could be a, a serious relationship or it could just be someone that you're dating. Um, and it feels like there's a sense of definitely being one foot in and one foot out so this feels to be kind of a bit of a struggle right now that the person who you're connecting to in this story is going through with the five of wands uh, i hear the name stephen for somebody and it almost feels like i'm getting the sense that if this is an existing partnership for one group of you there may be a feeling with the four of cups of almost like um, kind of like a feeling of you both maybe feeling either that you're not really on the same page or even just a feeling that things need to be worked out things you need to maybe you'd have to have more communication or maybe there has to be more effort put in there's just a feeling of kind of like hanging by a thread here with something um, and it feels like with the four of cups and the star there's great potential here with something to move forward or I wouldn't say great potential maybe I would say it's more of like that reference of halfway down the road do we keep going down the road or do we turn around and go back to maybe where we began where we started so this could be like a feeling of should I move on or should I let go um, and it seems like that could be what you're feeling what this person's feeling maybe both of you and the outcome is showing as a seven of pentacles here too so yeah whoever I'm picking up on today it feels like this is uh, I'm also hearing ghosting so this could have been someone who did ghost you I don't know if they did this recently with the four of cups again or maybe they this is someone who ghosted you before and again there's a feeling of like should I even should I even continue, you know, to, to go down this road or should I just, you know, again, kind of abandon the whole thing together? So it feels like a lot of re-evaluation for this story um, that I'm picking up on and a feeling of, it's almost like too what I'm seeing with the Nine of Swords. This could be a situation where it would require a really big risk to for you both to move it along. So for example, it could be various different things, but for an example, it could be like, you know, maybe it would require you both to like really have a new start, <clears throat> a fresh clean slate together and putting everything, the baggage behind you, but that's going to require shifts to take place in the external world. And there's a fear of that right now. There's a feeling of like not knowing if that's the best thing to do. So a lot of that tugging back and forth of not knowing if we should continue or not. Um, it could, could also be someone that you're in like a separation with possibly. Um, and it feels like in that case, there's a sense of, with Ace of Wands, you know, there's a feeling of, 
it's like they're showing me with the ace of pentacles coming up for this person if you have like a seed that's planted you know you have to water it you have to bring it sunlight it has to grow and so I've, there's some type of like lingering potential which i feel is either a question of whether or not to continue an existing partnership or maybe whether or not to reopen a connection or even it could be a brand new connection maybe it's someone that you just met um and there's a feeling of this person who you're connecting to wondering can it, like can we water this can can it grow with the star um and being kind of on the fence about what to do about that situation so there's a few different scenarios here i'm getting but that's the storyline the basis of it here um I do feel like there's could again there could be some miscommunications this person's coming up as someone who is having a really hard time again like knowing what they want or knowing what to say it almost feels like someone with the four of cups here who's been entangled in their emotions of how to deal with this situation so what to say um if they should say it there could be a sense of nervousness i'm picking up on too someone here that you're connecting to could be quite nervous about like if they did make a decision to reopen this or again whatever the situation is for you in particular there's a feeling of like jitteriness or nervousness about the situation um i do feel like there's a lot of resting i'm seeing somebody sleeping a lot or just kind of resting a lot so maybe you or them or both of you have just been in a period of like maybe no contact or resting or again one or both of you has just been spending a lot of time with the four of cups maybe in isolation you know maybe even just dealing with own internal challenges of kind of feels a bit stagnant here it feels like you know like sleeping it off sleeping it away uh, resting a lot trying to recuperate figure out this seed you know is it do i put it in the sunlight or do i just abandon it and so there's a feeling of someone being really kind of in their head here i do feel like this is probably the person you're connecting to they could be really in their head they could be um i am getting this person i'm, I'm hearing hallucinations that won't be for everyone and it doesn't have to be like an extreme thing but there could be a sense of this person you're connecting to being a little bit off like kind of a little bit um twisted right now mentally not knowing what's real sort of a little bit of an illusion here with the nine of swords it feels like there could be some influences i don't know what it is but maybe there's things that are affecting this person making them question their reality or making them wonder what's real there could be somebody who's under a lot of stress right now even you know maybe like there's a lot of things piling up a lot of things to do a lot of questions in the air so this could be someone who does need extra time rest right now um to figure out what to do with the whole situation i don't know why i'm seeing somebody writing a poem so i don't know if maybe someone is a poet here or a writer i'm also hearing too that it could be that this person is someone who feels like they are better this is very specific probably but someone who could be e like it's easier for them to write things out in form of art maybe or poetry than to speak it out loud um so it's almost like someone who in the walls of their own confinement uh especially if they are spending a lot of time alone or if you haven't heard from somebody it's like there's a lot more that this person is thinking emotionally that they have not expressed verbally maybe and so they could be either writing poetry or music or songs or this is just kind of somebody's method of expression and it could be you too maybe um if you don't feel comfortable voicing that out loud so i feel like because things have been brushed under the carpet i'm hearing um Some of you watching this, you could be a nurse, I'm hearing, um, or you could be doing something in the medical field. That could just be a confirmation for somebody. I'm hearing the name Lisa as well um, with the Six of Wands. You could be, if you, because this, this is like kind of like victory. So either you recently have graduated for somebody from nursing school or something, that's just very specific. But it's also feeling like you, whoever the viewer is, you seem to have moved the beyond time kind of like the clock has turned for you so maybe you've decided to depending on what this is maybe you decided to move on from this person or you decided to pursue like a certain career or hobby or you're just in the spotlight or something that you're just doing well maybe or you have a sense of more victory here 
I'm also getting for you, the viewer, a lot of heart chakra <clears throat> opening here. So there could even be a sense, again, depending if it is, how, so if it does happen to be a new person, it feels like maybe this person did open your heart chakra after a while that had been closed. And this is where, this is one story only for some of you, to where this person kind of, you both maybe had felt that there's a spark, there's a lot of potential here. But then again, you know, maybe like I said, there's a feeling of not knowing whether to water this, whether to grow it further now, but it did, kind of open your heart okay i'm also seeing somebody in a cabin somewhere in the woods so maybe you live there or maybe you went on vacation or you are on vacation or you met on vacation or you're going on vacation with this person but there's a feeling of like kind of getting away from the world again i keep getting references of secluding oneself so maybe both of you are doing this separately or something or i don't know but it feels like if if, if this is not a new person this could be someone who it's almost like while this person is having these emotions that they are trying to reveal or to figure out, you may have decided, something may have shifted for you to open your heart more, as I said, and it kind of feels like you um, have been through enough, I'm hearing spirits say, you've been through enough, it almost feels like you've been through a lot of challenges and difficulties. You may have even, I don't know if it's coming from them or something else, but you may have even gone through a lot of like, um, challenging connections or even like enough is enough type of behavior so it feels like you are moving out of the mud kind of in a way for you the viewer of this reading and i'm also getting this feeling of perseverance coming from you too to where maybe you are ready to really express your heart uh, or your your um thoughts your feelings I'm hearing spirit say, I don't really know what this means for your situation, but I'm hearing somebody, or I'm hearing spirit say something about being born with a silver spoon. So I don't really know how that ties into the reading. I don't know if that's how this person feels about you or you feel about them, but there's something about that coming up here. So maybe there's a feeling of you really overcoming your own challenges, you know, in a way that's, I don't know. I don't know what that means for you, but let's see what else. I'm seeing somebody playing hockey. So maybe somebody loves watching hockey here or somebody's a hockey player. We have boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on and closure issues. Yeah, and at the bottom we do have runner here, not today. So, it's like I'm getting a sense that hard work has paid off. Again, I'm hearing with the boat here, the Ace of Wands. Um, yeah, the Death card. Interesting, the Two of Cups, the Three of Swords. There's definitely a feeling of, again, this will depend on your situation, but if you do resonate so far with the story, there's been something that has ended with the death card here, which has brought clarity or will soon bring closure and clarity in order to uh, kind of initiate a feeling of getting out of this four of cups energy, which can be rejection, um, dismissal. It can be, um, I am kind of hearing for some of you that true colors are being revealed or they're about to be revealed. And this will again kind of depend because we do have the not today and we have the runner here and the three of swords, seven of swords. So this person, whoever the person is I'm picking up on, it's probably likely that they have either run recently from the connection if you just met, like I said, or they have been someone who has um, 
run from this connection in the past, but something is shifting here which is allowing for somebody's true colors to be revealed. Um, and it feels like, it, it almost feels like somebody can't hide anymore from who they really are, or they can't, sh they can't hide their um, kind of persona, they can't hide their tactics anymore. Um, and it feels like Yeah, it's interesting, really interesting, because I'm getting this expansive energy here, Three of Wands, Ten of Cups. It's like something new is coming in. So take this how this will resonate. It, it almost feels like replacing something with something new, but it will de depend on your situation because the Five of Wands, Ace of Cups coming up for this person's feelings towards you. We have three aces in this reading, and I just did a Twin Flame reading too, and we did have two aces in that reading as well. And this Three of Wands, Seven of Cups, or sorry, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Ten of Cups, this feels like replacing what has been sort of not closed up, and somehow the re-evaluation factor of it is being replaced by this happy ending or moving towards something better, moving towards something bigger. So it could be a situation where, for example, um, I just keep getting somebody taking off like a cloak that was clouding them or a cloak that was making them invisible. So with the Four of Cups, it could be somebody is coming out of this retreat, somebody's coming out of their cave, someone's coming out of hiding in a way with the Seven of Swords. Um, and if somebody has been not communicating with you or there's been miscommunications here and this person has been running, it's like you're going to see something about them which will give you clarity. And that's why I'm sort of getting it could go a few different ways depending on what it is that you see. I want to confirm a little bit more, but it's like, for example, you could see or this person could explain to you like why they acted the way that they did or why they have ignored this or like I said in the very beginning of that pathway of like, should I continue on or should I turn around and kind of go back to what it is that we had or could have? And it feels like with the death card here, it does feel like one of those kind of moves of continuing to move forward, it's like there is a sense of basically getting what you need from the situation in order to bring you fulfillment and happiness. So you seem to be on the road here, the viewer, to finding true happiness and fulfillment. And it could be that this true color will be revealed that has been sort of hidden or bothering you about somebody, which will give you the answer that you need. And again, I want to confirm a little bit about if that's this person or if it's something new, because for some of you, that's almost feels like there's two different pathways here. And that could be why they showed me that, because it may be your, your choice. You could have somebody here who with the Six of Wands, you're in a good position and maybe you will find something out or you will have a conversation or you will hear something which will give you the information that you needed all along to pursue something new or to feel like you can open up your heart now to something new. Um, but if it does happen to be like good news coming from this person and you have like an explanation or you feel good about it, it sort of will help to end the challenging part of the relationship and the connection and so that you both can kind of move on to a new pathway now, a new horizon um, in a better way. So let me see a little bit more. Sorry, I just dropped something. I'm hearing Jasper. I don't know if that's somebody's name or I don't know what that means for someone. So what else spirit about the situation?
It's almost like they're showing me a box, like a gift that's wrapped in a box. And then you open it and... kind of what I was thinking. I don't, again, I don't know exactly in which way this will fit with you because I'm getting a storyline here. It's like I'm seeing somebody in a, in a room by themselves and there's like an echo. There's a feeling of emptiness, but the empty, emptiness is allowing for this 10 of cups to come in. So the outcome here if it kind of feels to me like the outcome is that somebody here is becoming single or somebody is having a blessing in disguise which is putting them in the position to be in a in a better place in a better position to have true love or to eject the old footage the old energy the four of cups the death card so it definitely feels like moving from one situation to another um, and however that's going to be. And it feels like, again, here on the mend as well, gamble. So it feels like with this blessing in disguise, something has happened for a reason. That pathway that someone was deciding, it makes better sense now because I think that pathway that I picked up on, if you continue to move forward on it, is more of moving on in some way. So whether this person's moving on from somebody else, or the two of you are moving on from each other. It just feels like there's freedom opening up in the sense of like free movement to be able to carve this 10 of cups or to, to kind of claim this 10 of cups easier now. Um, but I mean, this person is showing as being on the mend. So that's why I can kind of see if this is like a brand new connection for some of you, or it could also be a situation where there has been a recent breakup for this person. If this is, possibly another or third party situation or something um, and it feels like with the ace of pentacles like i said before it's like they need to water this if it's going to work out um, it's like i'm hearing hope alive keeping the hope alive It really feels like there's a lot of angelic energy with the Ace of Cups, a lot of angelic protection here. Yeah, wings of love, guidance and protection. Something is definitely happening in this reading that is very much like pushing something to happen that spirit really wants to occur, really wants to happen. And they're encouraging someone to make the right decision to, to do this, to make it happen. Um, I'm hearing the end of the puzzle or the um, kind of like the the final thing that you needed to know so again with the boat the closure it's like you're receiving something that you've always needed to know in order to get the results that you want in your love life but it could just it could manifest in different ways depending on your situation here um, confirm something here because let me see Again, three of swords on the mend. I kind of feel like it is this person though. So 
I kind of feel like this situation for a lot of you is probably that this person is on the mend from something else. Um, or if it's not that, then you both could be on the mend from whatever happened before or something. I don't know. It just feels like this person, though, they have the intention to... With the Temperance and the Queen of Wands, some of you could be a Leo, Sag, or an Aries as well. It's like they really want to carve a path with you. I'm seeing somebody carve, like again, with this Ace of Wands, There's, they're almost like cutting out a path, like this is the outline of you kind of thing. It's, I don't know, they, they're kind of cutting out, the carving out what they want, and they're choosing something with you with Ace of Cups. I just don't know what happened that led to this here, but it feels like with the death card, some big ending and transformation has occurred that is bringing closure and clarity, which again, like I said, is kind of leaving somebody in a position to, with the Seven of Pentacles, this is about reevaluation and deciding, like I said, you know, whether or not to continue to work on something or not. And it's almost like this happens with the Three of Wands, the Ten of Cups, to say, I've decided now, and now I can have this Ten of Cups. And it doesn't appear like it's been an easy journey, but it seems like the, the dust has settled with something or is about to settle with something. And I do kind of feel like it is this person here. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody like go in the closet and change clothes really quickly or something like I need to change clothes to prepare. So it could even be like a, a spontaneous meeting that you have with someone or there could be a feeling of like, let's meet up or let's... Um, go on a date or there's something that's associated with a gamble though yeah perfect match and partnership this could actually happen very soon so for some of you with the ace of wands here uh, again it kind of feels like a, a spark has been lit in somebody to ignite this reignite it or ignite it for the first time and it feels like this is some somebody definitely who wants to repair or to choose to kind of work on this with you and it's like they're maybe scrambling to kind of get ready for this in a way. But there's definitely been some healing required, uh, mending of a previous situation or a previous like other connection. I am seeing somebody, this came up actually for another reading I did too. I'm seeing somebody getting out of prison. So again, I don't think that's literal, maybe for one person, but it's like metaphorically as they come out of this prison, they're changing their clothes from like the inmates clothes to the like normal clothes. But this is, it's more spirit saying in a way of like, they are deciding, okay, I need to change clothes. I need to really get my act together. I need to, um, now that I'm free or now that I feel liberated, from the struggles or whatever happened with this mending here, they're almost thinking like they want to just like put on this outfit and meet you here, kind of. Um, so let's get any final energies here. Yeah, so you see at the bottom here is retreat. So that's what definitely what I was picking up on. It's definitely a time of soul searching, quiet period, recharging, spend time in nature. See, that's definitely for this reading, there was someone, if not both of you, who have been spending a lot of time like in nature or by yourselves or just away from each other, kind of. Um, could even just be very temporarily, you know, maybe this is a situation where there was a breakup even between you both. Um, and maybe you both decided to take some time off and with the death card or take some time away. And there's that feeling of, as I said, you know, do we re, do we repair this? But it, it, it feels like it's, it's come with a price kind of in a way because there may have been some deception. There may have been something that came out to the light, uh, which is making someone in a position of like a new phase of their life so they feel more open or vulnerable now to go towards what they want and that really will depend because for some of you there is also you moving into this direction so if you've made the decision recently this reading could also be for you to retreat withdraw and then you've decided that 
enough is enough for you for your situation here this person could be someone who is wanting to still kind of repair things with you but they know that you have boundaries they know that you are someone who is having these healthy boundaries and standards in your life so um but there's a feeling at least universally here in this reading whichever category you're in of kind of calmness coming in of a calm after the storm of a feeling of letting go breathing um being able to have more space now to receive something better or to receive a new start that's what this feels like here yes true love and soulmate so again it feels like this is a potential uh, potentially for someone that you already met or already know who is a very true love soulmate connection. This feels like a soulmate reading, somebody who you have, uh, this would be if you have a very mainly harmonious connection, even if you've had challenges here, it was mainly because this person may have been someone who was struggling with some internal stuff, but this is um, a true love connection that's either coming into your life. I know it's kind of, there's different options here. That's why I'm saying there's different potentials, but. It just feels like this Ten of Cups is very soulmate-ish in the, in the sense of we get what we need in love. We get a, a good connection in our life. We are able to finally receive that. And whether that required an ending to take place first, in which the angels are kind of leading to people who did have a true love connection, not like a toxic, toxic connection, but a true love connection back together. And this had to happen this way. Um, first by two people spending time apart and this individual here having to maybe heal their heart from other things or maybe from you uh, in order to be kind of led back into your direction here but and then it can also be if you have ended something toxic recently I think most of you will be in the first category but if, if you have ended something toxic recently and it's like you're receiving the true colors of this person that you needed to see um, it may not be like it's horrible things but you're receiving kind of what you needed to know in that time apart and maybe even revealed something about this person to see that you're ready to eject this old footage and you've decided to stop investing in it um, and there's been an ending taking place here and then after you do this if you were deceived and you're not going back you have a true love soulmate coming into your life here um, again time apart yeah I do feel for most of you, this is probably a situation where you have had time apart from a particular person and they are really wanting to repair it <clears throat> this is could be a strong past life connection that you have with this person this is a feeling of you've known each other before you have this very strong connection with each other so let me just get some final, um, let's see, let's get some messages. So to give us any final clarity, whoever this person is then what do they want to say so we have drama I don't want to complicate the situation any more than it already is yeah I'm hearing loose ends are being tied up so again take that how that will fit but it feels like that original message I got about the pathway Maybe somebody is going back to kind of tie up loose ends somehow, whether this is like internal stuff or external. And then if they continue on this pathway, that's where there's a feeling of coming together. Um, but they have to tie up loose ends. It's mainly I'm getting insecurities. I'm seeing somebody look in the mirror and kind of look at themselves. 
We have magic. I've been calling you back to me. Do you feel my energy? Yeah, so I do feel like with the Queen of Wands, this is somebody who is very highly attracted to you, very magnetically pulled to you right now. At the bottom, we do have doorstep. I'm thinking about showing up and surprising you one day. So yeah, again, for most of you, it's this person here who's been wanting, who's been thinking. I think I said, yeah, they've been changing clothes. So they could, I don't know if they, like, they actually have like a change of appearance or they just want to like put their best foot forward. They want to be different somehow. They want to just almost rush in. This person is someone who wants to rush in. It could be happening very soon, but um, they have this like strong desire for you to be a better person, to share like kind of good news with you. Um, and with the standards and boundaries, it is somebody who you have standards and boundaries with, and they also are someone who maybe is trying to be better about having healthy boundaries in their own life too, about what's, you know, what, if there is any drama. But yeah, they could be like, it feels like during, because remember I said too, with the Four of Cups, they could have been spending a lot of time alone or even poetry or writing. So they could be someone who has a very deep side to them, or they could be someone who has been really kind of like energetically pulling on you recently. Um, kind of feels like an excitement I'm getting. We have sensual. I can't stop thinking about our intimate times together. So that could be also with the Queen of Wands. Again, somebody who is very attracted to you. They could be Ace of Wands, thinking about your intimate moments together if you did have intimate times. I'm just getting this person is kind of almost like beating themselves up about something. I'm seeing them like go back and forth. Like, I don't know, they've struggled a lot with the Nine of Swords recently, especially of anxiety about maybe how to do this or they feel twisted in some way. Yeah. I can't see a way out of my situation and it's easier to just stay with the victim. That could be anything from a situation to an addiction to mental habits, nine of swords, anxieties. Remember I did say something too about this person being a little bit, I forgot what I said, but it was something about their mental health maybe. So they could be someone who just like, they don't want to be a victim. They really want to pull themselves out of this. They really want to at least make things right or to repair things or to bring some type of smooth or calmness to the situation with you but they do feel a bit like a victim they feel like there's some chaos right now going on for them they also feel almost like they feel so magnetically pulled towards you that it's almost like if you light a flame and you have gasoline on the ground then it will just blow up in flames so they're like almost afraid to light that initial flame again because it could turn into like a wildfire, if that makes sense. So they're maybe a little bit afraid. We have flirt. I love our conversations and banter. So again, this does feel like either a new situation or a reopening of something that's going to start as like flirting again. This, I don't know, it feels kind of like a lightness to it, which I do feel like is because you may have like a soulmate connection, past life connection, but it doesn't feel to be like a heavy connection. This feels like something that for the most part has been pretty light or has been um, at least like on a soul level, there's a lot of love and connection here. It doesn't feel like a super toxic or draining connection. It feels more like it's just been maybe two people who miss each other or this person just feeling that they really wish to talk to you, to flirt with you, to show up randomly at your door, to see you. There's a lot of yearning here. Yeah, so at the bottom we have, I miss the sound of your laugh and I miss our fun times together. The gap between us keeps growing further apart and I don't know how to close it. So yeah, there's that kind of like a, a bit of desperation coming from this person right now. Not desperation really, but like just a feeling of, again, I don't know, it's, it's like a, it's a certain giddy feeling. It's a certain, I don't know how, to, how else to put it, kind of like a feeling of wanting something like with the, the magic. Let's get one more.
Yeah, so there is more than meets the eye. The way that I act isn't a true reflection of my feelings. So again, I think I said something like this person is somebody who has a lot of depth to them. They could be somebody who does write songs or poems or things like that, or they just, that's, they, that's just Spirit's way of saying that they have a lot of like layers of emotion to them, which they may have not shown you, or they may not be showing you that right now. But it's like, it's almost, it's almost making them feel that they're battling themselves with the Nine of Swords, the Five of Wands, and they're they're really right now, they're almost wanting to just like hop in that car or plane or whatever, or with the doorstep and just like do it, just be spontaneous or just see you or connect with you. I'm drawn to get one more here for the outcome for some reason, so they may have to say something about the outcome between you both. Okay, so the outcome, neither of us are, are admitting our true feelings. Who is going to make the move first? And then we also have fate. Yeah, so beneath that we have deep. When I'm with you, it feels so real. I'm afraid of falling too deep. If it's meant to be, our paths will cross again. Let's leave it up to the universe. So what I'll say to kind of end the reading here with this final message is that it almost feels like with the Ten of Cups, whether this, like I said a few times, whether this is them becoming single, I don't know, or you becoming single, or just a feeling of like something has, some, some dynamic has shifted recently, which has allowed even like an ego death, maybe something has happened which is allowing somebody to kind of be in their own energy here with the blessing in disguise, the party of one. Um, and having gone through all this reflection, there may be a feeling of you both even being dancing back and forth. Like maybe you both are kind of mirroring this dynamic. Um, again, you seem to be in a good place here. So maybe it's a feeling of like, who's gonna say something first? Are you gonna open up the lines of communication? Are they gonna do it? Um, so there's almost the feeling of like with the 10 of cups, there's a strong potential for you both with the star here too, to have this 10 of cups together. But there may be a feeling of like, let's leave it up to the universe or let's hope that now that either I'm single or now that I've healed from my previous struggles or they're not totally there, but they're, they're definitely like making progress. I feel, and you have as well. There's a feeling of like almost yearning and desiring this 10 of cups and wanting to feel that again, wanting to feel that very magnetic, very home type of feeling with each other again, but it almost feels like nothing's happening to make that happen right now, at least. Um, and so there's a blessing in disguise that is putting things in a better position maybe to like f to do what's right and i don't know that depends for some of you watching this maybe you despite the fact that you feel this strong connection with this person maybe you've decided to move on to a different direction and so it's almost like a feeling of what could have been or what if kind of feeling and it almost like stays there right now so i don't know that's by the next season. Yeah, so again, it does feel kind of like a few weeks. It could be something that will eventually happen, or not eventually, but soon will happen. So yeah, we're, I mean, we're kind of already in spring. So it could be spring or summer by the next season. There feels, feels like there's a, something that's happening soon. I, I do kind of feel that though. So there could be contact very soon. It could be, um, I don't know what it is, but there's something happening soon. It feels like it's an energy that's gaining some momentum here. Yeah. For those of you who have talked recently to this person or you're kind of like still together, sort of, um, you definitely could experience that there's going to be more communication coming in in the next two to three weeks or so. And maybe you will have more clarity about this as we had seen before. Um, just feels like the road is a little bit more open. So I hope that this reading could help whoever it's for. Um, let me know if this does connect with you. Thanks so much for tuning in and lots of love. Take care.